I'm here with Jen Jones on the ground floor of the Welsh Quilt Centre and this used to be the courtroom and they had their own very own jail and you're putting part of the jail into very good use here, I, I am indeed. This is underneath this gorgeous red bedspread is the last remaining jail bed. Goodness, I don't think I'd and like to sleep on that. it's just planks with wooden, very stocky wooden feet. And I'm sure it didn't have a mattress or even a blanket. And that would have been in one of the cells across the way where the cafe is. Okay. And uh, the prisoners would have spent the night there and then gone up the wriggly staircase into the dock. Into the dock and, yes. and into the lovely space that you now use yes. as, a, as an exhibition yes. space. Yes. But, and the Gorgeous. dock, uh, my cash register here and uh, the, the, uh, uh, where, where, where we do all the business is part of the dock. Oh my goodness. And this wonderful table was the clerk's table. Well, I know. And uh, it's just, I mean, we, we were accused originally by a few people of destroying an historic court. Well, it wasn't. It was put in in 1939, the building's 1880s, and it was mainly plywood. And all the oak, all the interesting features we saved. And we've tried to reuse them somewhere in the building. Well, I can see you're obviously in the business of saving because we've got some lovely <laughs> old quilts here, yeah. haven't we? Re well, recycled yes, yes. into cushions. Yes. Which you uh, d have you made them up from uh, the old quilts? Uh, not myself personally, as oh, I am no, not a sewer. Sew. No, no, no. <laughs> but um, these have been old Welsh quilts, and these that was an American quilt, and none of these have been cut up unless they were. Uh, beyond saving, as, saving quilts. as whole quilts. And okay. this way, at least a fraction of the quilt is... Um, I think it's a great way of, of keeping is. them to be used and loved. Yeah. And, and you've got one of my favourites here, oh, yes. which is a Grandmother's Fan. Yes, and those are 40s Four. fabrics, and again, American. Although I personally concentrate on Welsh quilts, um, I try, when things come my way that are interesting in a different tradition, uh, either American or European or English, um, to uh, buy them and, and uh, so it makes the, the shop more interesting. Absolutely, mm. absolutely it does. And there's a, there's a cute little heart. Yes, again, that again is made lovely from an, Welsh a, quilt. an old quilt. Yes. And that was made by Janet Bridge who does all the, uh, the sewing for me. Oh, gorgeous, yeah. gorgeous. And you also sell Welsh blankets here. Yes, blankets which are Again, uh, nobody wanted to look at them for years and years and years. And um, I always liked them and I bought them and sort of stockpiled them. And now they're wildly popular. So are these and modern or old? Th no, these are old. These are all vintage. But the ones I bring into this uh, particular shop in, in town, I, I try and bring mint order ones. Yes, yeah, they, and they are these gorgeous. these tapestries are actually the most popular. They're the double weaves. and um, Nobody would touch those with a 10-foot barge pole 10 years ago, and people were throwing them out again. And they are now uh, probably mm, much sought my after, best I seller. Yes, yes and, much and sought after. Especially young people. They buy them because they're quite trendy, and they use them in their living rooms. They don't use them on beds. They use them over sofas and, and chairs. Yes, um, super. Yeah. And you have, keeping up with the Welsh tradition, We've got some lovely Welsh books. You were telling me about the well, this, Welsh Well, this is a, a pattern book. Patterns. And the woman who uh, wrote that book uh, and compiled it, she had it in a small format. And she had bought her first Welsh quilt from me about 30 years ago. And um, she lives in uh, the West, in America. And when this quilt center was falling into place, she offered us the right to publish it uh, which we thank her for in the beginning, to raise funds for the Quilt Centre. And it's been a bestseller. I mean, people just love it. I'm not surprised, yeah. yeah. Yes. It's a wonderful book. You wanted book. to do a whole cloth quilt. Uh, the patterns great, are there for great you. Great way to start, yeah. yes. And you've got Making Welsh Quilts. That's Claire Claridge and uh, Mary Jenkins. Mm -hmm. And um, lots of those quilts in the book are from my collection. And they have both been tremendous supporters of this whole enterprise in one way or another. Well, I've, I've got a copy of this book. It's I, a lovely I enjoy book. it very much. I lovely book. Yes. Really good book. And this one's got your name on it. Well, that one I wrote years and years and years ago, and it's a general guide, a little bit about history? Uh, the history, the Super. care, the um, different types of quilts. Yeah. It's, it's a general uh, 
sort of explanation about Welsh quilts. Welsh quilts. Yes. yes. Not a how to do. <laughs> no, I, but the history is really, uh, people yeah. are fascinated by it. Yes. So, yes, yes. And your previous exhibitions here, I think. Yes, are. well, this book was put out by Quilt Mania uh, to coincide with an exhibition we did in Alsace for them. And that is more or less a copy text wise of this, but wonderful illustrations, big okay. pictures yeah. of the Welsh quilts. And then Dorothy. Dorothy uh, Osler. Linked in with the, with the Amish quilts. Tremendous books. book about yeah. the Amish, and in which she proves beyond a reasonable doubt that the Welsh influenced the Amish and not the other way other around. Way wonderful. Yes. And Thank of course, Kay Fassett. Who's, uh, his, who's, you've got his, his exhibition running at the moment. autobiography, yeah. and uh, it is such a good read. I've given, I think, four copies to people, and uh, I've read it myself. And lucky I, I, people. Yes, it's lucky a lovely people. book. Good. Okay, and uh, last but not least, Welsh quilts. Well, yeah. what can I say Synonymous except with that, you. yes, I mean, and, and these are just a, a tiny, well, it's the tip of the iceberg, really. Uh, I bring in ones, I change them all the time, but if you see these lovely two-sided, that these are just pretty quilts that anybody can afford and put on their beds. Patchwork, a paisley, a wonderful floral. Can you see the, the two, two different colors uh, uh, back to front? Sometimes they put two colors together that absolutely don't work and you can't sell the quilt at all because people keep seeing the, the other side and saying I couldn't live with that and uh, we once just put a plain white back on one and we mm -hmm. sewed it immediately you know I mean they have no <laughs> imagination at all that's yeah. a that's a modern one I do buy some and this is a wonderful Swedish woman who makes silk quilts all by hand oh my and uses a lot of ties that one doesn't have ties in it but uh, she that creamy one is 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 one of hers so that's new and all the others are old, uh, old, old and this is uh, again uh, a, a double-sided oh my goodness. rosy quilt yes and people do love the rosy ones yes. they're, they're so pretty absolutely lovely and an absolutely. older one here which dates to about uh, oh, just before 1900 and that's a double-sided again paisley yeah. fabric black and red and, red. and mm -hmm. nice quilting okay so modern quilters take note the back does not have to go with the front it does not have to go <laughs> and then you get two completely different two quilts. for the price of one hmm. two for the price of one well absolutely lovely thank you so much for showing <laughs> us oh, around it's a Jen. pleasure it's a real pleasure